What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Ghost in the Night, a paranormal and true crime podcast. I'm Paul, <laughs> Travis is always coughing up a lung, sitting to my left. Say hi, Travis, if you can. Howdy. Uh, tonight, like I said earlier, we are covering the Zozo Ouija board demon and a man who went face to face. So you're going to definitely want to stick around for that. But, but before we get started, anything you want to talk about? Anything topical you want to talk about? I have something I want to talk about. It's really pissed me off this this weekend. Go forth. These people that work for the state with their little freaking, you know, those signs on the highways. It says, click it or ticket, you mm-hmm. know, the where they can change it. Yeah. I saw one that literally made me want to ram the car in front of me. It said, click it. Some bunny loves you. <laughs> I said, you sorry sons of bitches. <laughs> Who is writing this shit? They need to be fired. Uh, actually, uh, better half knows a person who does that. Well, tell them I said they need to be fired. That's pretty bad. Some bunny loves you. Somebody to love. Oh, my God. That, I just driving down the interstate on Easter Sunday, coming home from my mother's. And boom, I read that and literally wanted to run somebody off the road. You put a hurting on those Reese's that were in don't there. Don't question. Don't even, I don't want, we're not talking I, about I it. ate candy too. Sorry, I had two, the night I of ate, Easter, I had two Reese's eggs. I had a miniature tube of mini M&M's. I ate my body weight in Reese's and Butterfingers. I had a little crunch bar. That's the best part. She gave you Butterfingers. Butter as a practical joke, my mother's a practical So she did joke. do it to be funny. Oh, yes. Okay. Absolutely. Just making sure. It's way better knowing that she was doing it just to fuck with you. You know, we we got a problem here. What? What's going on now? I moved. That's it? That You couldn't have just said something? I could have easily the just bar. slid that over. The bar is right in the middle of my notes. God damn all this high-class technology. Oh, whatever. I'll have to I'll have to deal with it, or I'm going to have to move over and up. All right, we will get started with that. If you are in the chat... Be sure to say hi in the chat so we can say hi back here before we get started. If you're not, fuck off. And if you're listening to us on your favorite podcast app, whether that be Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, I think. Some shit like that. Uh, Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, whatever they let you do, and share that with your crazy friends who like to talk shit about paranormal and true crime and... Get silly, because we get silly here. Get we, silly. We are immature, but just check us out there. And if you're or if you're listening to us on those apps, be sure to come over to the YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com slash ghost of the night and catch us live when we go live on Wednesdays. All right, now fuck all that formal shit. Let's have fun. Well, well what are we going to have fun with? I don't know. You want, do you have anything before we dive into the Zozo Demon? I took a shit today, and it sounded like I was drowning Donald Duck. Okay, Zozo Demon it is. You can't tell me that's not a good analogy for a gross poop. I don't know. I I don't think like. about what it would sound like if you were to drown Donald Duck. Now put it in a toilet. All right. Anyway, anything else on your mind before we dive deep into demons and Ouija boards? There's another fucking shooting. Was there? You didn't see that? I. I quit yeah, it was in this. Louisville. Oh, that's right. It was. A, yeah. But it a was disgruntled employee. But it wasn't a school, at least I guess. No, there's that. Thank God for that. It's Thank so God for better. small America. I mean, it's, like, it, 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 it sounds fucked up saying it's better, but it feels better, you know. <laughs> like, not to get too political, political, but apparently, political. Po- too political, but apparently, Bud Light's taking a hit. I think we saw that coming. I think their market caps down what five million, billion, I, uh, five dude, billion with a B dollars. Well, yeah, but people were talking about it, and like, they're like, they're fucked. Da, da, da. I'm like, no, they're going to be just fine. Uh you'd be surprised though. I don't. That. That's a big hit. Yeah, but in the long run, it's not like they're going anywhere. You never know. If people quit buying it. They still have fucking... See, the the thing that a lot of people fuck with is, for some reason, a lot of people are like, I'll just drink Bush. That is also oh, Anheuser-Busch. Yeah, Bush. Yes. They don't really... Jerk off. Bush. Um, Stella is Anheuser-Busch. Uh, there's a bunch of... Like, the Sekis An- isn't the Sekis? Distributed by, oh, it might be. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Between Miller and Budweiser, every beer pretty much that's in America, yeah, they Miller. have the March first contract. Yeah. Well, I just know they took a 
four or five billion dollar hit. It's like I said, they'll put a sombrero on the cans for fucking Cinco de Mayo and make it back. <laughs> I mean, that has to hurt. Somebody, I think somebody should lose their, lose their job. I don't know. I've just been saying the whole time. I'm like, the CFO of Anheuser Busch is still going to buy a fucking Ferrari with his Christmas bonus. So yes, probably. They're going to like be we right. talked about last week. I don't really give a fuck. I'm still drinking Bud Light. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I don't care because I just hate Miller Light that much. I don't know. I had, there was a guy that never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So, but that that was fun in the news. So we got we got Budweiser yeah. losing money. Yeah, fuck it. I saw a guy oh. refer to it as a queer beer. Oh, really? Mind you, this person had a mullet like down to the Jesus. middle of their back. Was wearing a wife beater or a tank top. I guess you're, I guess wife beater has been like you're not supposed to say that. Which I'll give you that one. I'll I give mean, you wife beater. That's people. that's kind of a that is kind of a fuck name. But um, I think un like the boots with like. That like tucked in sh- pants legs, the fucking like pit viper looking sunglasses, and he got out of either like a single cab like old S10 or a fucking like it was like a Grand National or some shit that was like really loud exhaust, but it didn't look good. And he he had the audacity to say anything, right? Just like that. I mean. I mean, he, as soon as he opened his mouth, I was like, "That reads." I mean, I'm all for if you don't want to drink, if you don't want to drink because of that, fine, go ahead. That's your right too. That's but your that's right. That's just childish. But, <laughs> and he thought he's just, the dude. He was just like waiting for the fucking response, was, and he was proud of himself, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. I mean, people are just so fucking stupid. I was I like, mean, dude, get a life, get laid outside your family tree slash gene pool, and just move on with your life. I mean, I don't agree with everything that's going on in the world, but that's just. And for one, let's be honest, that particular word, which we won't repeat, has really nothing to do with the problem. That's just one letter in that little thing, in that little interview. And what? Re- re- rephrase that one. I wouldn't call it a problem. Did I say problem? Yeah. Oh, no, it, but that it, is one, no, that no is... problem is he used the wrong word. That's what I meant. The problem, his, he, he, the word he oh, used I got you. is not the issue that Bud Light is having. It wasn't the cue. Yeah, that'll be fine. I mean, that was that was always my point. Is like everybody was like, "Da da da." I'm like, "Dude, you can't even fathom the level of business that these companies are dealing on right now." Oh yes, it has hurt them, Lamont. Yes, it has. They they are panicking from what all the reports I hear. They are panicking. They'll be fine. Oh, they're gonna, it's gonna be all right. Yeah. But, uh, unless if I was the CEO, I'd be like, "Dude, we're all gonna get paid anyway. Just wait till the Super Bowl. It'll be fine." Well, I did hear some reports that there were some serious panicking going on within the anheuser Bush front office on how to rectify this situation. That's probably just what she saw on camera. Yeah. I mean... Right now, this is going on, but, like, as we speak, the 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 president and CEO of anheuser Bush is fucking Marlin fishing with Miller Lights, or with Miller Coors' CEO. And they're just like, worked out good, huh, buddy? I mean, it's... I mean, it's just, I don't really give a shit anymore. I don't even care. It's all just, it's all just childish in nature. I know, I know. I just, just I like, know, get the fuck over, just five move on. Billion do- actually, five billion dollars in one day they lost. Off their market cap. Jeff Bezos lost more than that on a fucking divorce. Well, that's true. Anyway, you, shall we dive into... I think so, man. Well, I, Lamont says that he's still selling it in his, uh, I think he's just trying to, from what I've heard, he's just trying to get rid of the stock he has, but I know, uh, what's his name from Big and Rich, what's his, he it's quit, over, you know. he quit selling it too, and he was on, does he have a bar? Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, he either do I look like I keep up on my Big and Rich news? Yeah, he, he quit selling it too, apparently. But, I mean, hey, and they're allowed to do that too. If they don't want to sell it, they, I, I, it's their right to do whatever the hell they want. I just will not drink Miller Lite or piss Coors Light unless it's free. Like I said last week, I'd rather suck a dick than drink either of those and swallow. So I will continue to drink Bud Light, and like all the t- and the TikToks is what pisses me off the most. Oh, you know. And if I have to wear a dress to drink Bud Light, I will wear a dress to drink Bud Light. 
Did I show you the one That's of the how much fucking? I hate Miller Lite. Did I just see the one? I don't know if this is for the Bud Light situation, but I saw a TikTok of this like country looking dude, and he fucking. It was like when people talk about gay Bud Light, and he held up. He was holding up this Bud Light bottle, and he he was telling you it was an acronym. He said, "Bitch, you don't like it, go home then." <laughs> and I was like, ah. I "Well know. played." I, I will drink it. I don't give a shit. I don't care that much about it. It's fucking beer. I don't give a shit. It's alcohol. Alcohol. It's Aki How. All yeah. right, let's do this. All right, we are talking. That's the- a perfect non segue to drop an ad in later. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. No, uh, tonight, like I said earlier, we are talking the Zozo Ouija board demon with a man who had a terrible, horrific creepy face-to-face encounter with the Zozo demon. And this story goes, it's wild. This is one of the most fascinating stories. Challenge I, accepted. I, I've heard, but. I'm going to find the most fucked up cult leader I possibly can to combat this next week. All right. Now, in 1982, Darren Evans uh, was just a young teenager. Don't know exactly how old. Still in high school. Just uh, a city boy? Uh, in Oklahoma, so not too city. I think it was Oklahoma City, so probably born and raised in uh, South. De- no, Des Moines not in Oklahoma. I don't know any cities in Oklahoma. Oklahoma City. Yeah, well, other than <laughs> that, I mean, if it's named after the state, that doesn't even count. Isn't Tulsa in Oklahoma? Born and raised in Tulsa. Yeah. Yeah. Darren was dating a girl by the name of Brandy. One day they were at Brandy's <laughs> house, and a plumber was at Brandy's house doing a little plumbing. Not on Brandy. I wife. think Darren was doing the plumbing. Okay. He was actually working on the pipes. Uh, but he was working under the house. He made it extremely creepy, and I mean creepy discovery while he was laying pipe. Go on. <laughs> Excuse me. He found an old Ouija board with four jars p- placed on either. Okay, the four jars is where you got me. All right. I thought you were just going to say a Ouija board. I was going to say, who gives a fuck? It was in, uh, it was probably in a shoebox. No. Four. Tell me what was in these jars. We will. Don't don't rush. Well, I was don't really Don't rush the foreplay, Travis. <laughs> that was the hook. You just didn't get want to get right to the fucking let's we got we got to tickle the fancies a little bit here. That was the hook. No, but he found a Ouija board with four jars placed on all four corners. He told the young kids that he was finished and he naturally told them what he found in said basement. Or said I guess it was, what's that called? Um, a crawl space? Crawl space. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, naturally, Damn, basements in Oklahoma. Have you ever yeah, been to right. Oklahoma? Only, <laughs> I would say, you remember, what's the officer and a gentleman, or is it Full Metal Jacket? You can't say it now. There's only two things that come from Oklahoma. Spears oh. and what we were talking about earlier. Bud Lights. <laughs> Bud Lights. <laughs> <laughs> Which was, you know, it's almost. I've already established my before thoughts we on get this. To this don't it's get almost mad comical. You go back and watch all these old movies. How much shit they couldn't say, or they, that's inappropriate now. How times, how times change. Like kids' movies from when I was a kid, I'm like, yeah, they couldn't make that shit now. Right. Anyway, so naturally, the kids once were told about this uh, creepy, scary discovery in the crawl space, were fascinated. And what did kids do? As kids always do when they hear this kind of stuff. No, don't put the fork in the light socket. What do they do? They put the fork in the light socket. These kids, and, or teenagers, I should say, were no different. Are we going to get to what's in these fucking jars? Eventually. That is the most, ex- that is, that's the what's in the box moment of this, this what's in the subject box? so far. Uh, they removed the dust, they went down and removed the dust from the old jars and found the remains of dead blackbirds fermenting in these jars. Blackbirds in the uh, When Darren the touched night. the board, he seemed to have a weird fascination with it. Which is, you know, in the paranormal sense or paranormal world, that's not uncommon for people to, uh, especially a, something like that, get a little touchy feely with the Ouija board. Especially and, something like that because that's so boring. Like you got to be weird to see that and be like. <sighs> for the people who are listening on their favorite podcast app, we have a Ouija board displayed right behind me and Travis. I don't think it counts. I'm pretty sure. I don't <coughs> think you can use like a shitty Ouija board. Which, I think you have to have one that's no less than like 130 years old. It's made out of like burl walnut. It's stained with like fucking the blood of Catholic priests, and the planchet is like a, st- a dried like 
fucking jerked sliver of someone's heart. Now, just in full disclosure, this is the same Ouija, Ouija board in a previous episode. Oh, this one? This is the one. Oh, I thought you were talking about this one. I was like, what the fuck? This is a traveling Ouija board? Now we're fucking talking. <laughs> this is the Ouija board that is behind us. It's the one Travis and I used in a episode. It is, and now it's getting held up by Bigfoot and uh, Snoop Dogg. And I might add, this might ruin the story, we opened it, we asked it, asked it questions, we got no responses. Nothing. Of course, we were joking and dicking off, so and the aura of the room was not proper, and we did not close it properly. I'm telling purpose. you, man, if we need to try it with like a, a fucking real mystical fucking... like. Uh, I don't even know. Like, like we need to get the we- a Ouija board that looks like it's made out of the same wood as Gandalf's cane. Well, maybe one day we'll actually do a, a legitimate. We should make one. A legitimate, and Ouija session, and actually try to uh, make contact instead of dicking off like we did. It's not gonna work. I know this, but you never know. I don't believe in that shit. <clears throat> well, you will. Maybe you will after this episode. Yeah, I've I know one t- fact about this episode that I've seen from your notes, and it does not lay credence to the story that you're about to tell. It's well, a person. Oh, which I'm about to get to. Don't worry, I'm you're gonna welcome. Get to it. Anyway, Segway. Anyway, uh, Brandy's mother, just for a little fun fact, was a practicing Wiccan. Mm. So she and <laughs> so she had a lot of house plants. <laughs> yes, but she was not. It was not her. She did not know where it came from. Now we have to admit, up to this point, this story is a little bit. It wasn't her what, Ouija board. Are we about to get into like? No. But unbeknownst to them, their house had been built in 1642. No, nah, we're not getting and, it. And it was on an Indian burial ground. No, nah, and... there is no Indian burial grounds in this fucking story. Thank God. Or Native American. Anyway. Damn it. I had a joke to make, but I can't make it yet. Anyway, uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me, but actually, you know, the Wiccan thing, like I was saying, she, it wasn't her board. She didn't know where it came from. So it, there's no, I just like saying Wiccan. So I just wanted to throw that piece of information into this story. Uh, a few nights later, uh, Damon tried to contact, well, him and Brandy were using it. And he tried to make contact with a, a famous dis- a person who recently was deceased. I forget. This was 82. I don't know what year he died. You might. I think he died in 80. Or no, I don't know. But it was the late. Can you guess it? Wait, can you guess it? Guess. Can you guess it by this? Oh, yeah. Any takers? Any takers? Yeah, man. Da, da, da. It's, he's the hardest person to try to fucking impersonate. Bueller, Bueller. No, but Darren was fascinated with a certain group by the name of ACDC. So at the time, for those people who are living under the rock and don't know who ACDC is. Everybody knows who ACDC is. Their late singer, Bon Scott, as Gregory just typed in the chat, had recently deceased. I think he died in 8081. It was fairly recently from the time of this story. I'm not that big of a fucking ACDC fan, so I couldn't tell you. Right. But died of alcohol poison. I believe he drank himself to death. No way. Alcohol poison. The Shopping. guy, the the singer from the band that makes songs that only belong in fucking dive bars and NASCAR races. Right. But, and I'm, you have to. He, the reason Darren did this, because he was an avid ACDC fan, loved Bon Scott. Bon Scott was kind of his idol, apparently, at this time. Uh, nothing happened at first in this session, but a half hour into the session, the planchette, which I spelled wrong in the notes, thank you, uh, began to move. It kept going from Z to O, Z to O, Z to O, which would spell out Zozo, which is most people who are familiar with paranormal, Zozo is a demon associated with the Ouija board. Dang. And apparently, th- this is one of the... Th- and this is Did really- he confirm that it started on Z? <sighs> apparently. Because I stand by my former <laughs> statements about this and wonder if it got lost in translation and it's actually Azaz. Hmm. You might have a point. And maybe that's why nobody's seeing Zozo because they're saying the wrong name and it's just like walking around in the nether realm and it's like, <laughs> my name is my- Zozo. Or Zazaz, you asshole. He's like, Christina! You come in my house, you get my wife's name right. <laughs> now, after, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, after, <clears throat> wow. 
Mm, me, 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 me. That is a Zozo dick. <laughs> it's just going down my throat. Deep throating me. It, deep zo- deep zoting it. <laughs> but uh, You're fucking the zote goat. And I, I will say this. Generally, a lot of people talk about when you... And it's, I didn't hear this in the story, but hopefully... But I'm, I didn't hear this in the story, but I'm going to make it up anyway. No, no, with... A lot of times, you probably have I've heard this, when you interact a demon on the Ouija board, it's often that you'll the planchette will s- start making a figure eight. You, you've heard that, right? Yeah. And then it'll start spelling out s- stuff. If you say their name. I guess. I don't know. But Which, I don't know if this happened like or not. Destiny's so. Child? Yes. But Darren decides- What if you swipe right on the Ouija board? I don't know. You get a Bud Light? Fuck, I don't know. That's right. That's right. I don't Swipe right know. is like you're the Tinder. ones on Grinder, not me. That's Tinder. I don't even know sure, how Grinder works. Sure, Travis. Well, I've never been on Tinder either, but <laughs> isn't Tinder the one that's famous for Swipe Right? I think so. I think Swipe Right's good. Swipe Left's is you're an ugly cow. Yeah, I've never had Tinder before. I think I don't know. An interesting name. Tinder. Or now that I think about it. What Tinder? Tinder. Because at first I was like, "What the fuck?" And then it's I was the like, "Oh, it's, it's a little. A it's starting a little flame." It will turn it's into a, a raging tender. inferno. It's like the lint blow off your socks. <laughs> right. Now, Darren, after this Zozo incident, decided to close out the session, session and say goodbye. S- the session. Session. session, as, session, and, session. Say, and say goodbye, as you always should when you're using a, a uh, Ouija board, which we did not do. Ouija and, board ethics. And nothing happened. Dictate that you say bye to de- the demons. But something happened before he could close <laughs> it out. Maybe that's the the true the the fucking key to all this. That's how you can stay away from demons. You just say bye to them. Say you dig you later, motherfucker. I'm teaching my kids to do that. If I have kids, I, everyone tell my kids. No, if, if when you're over at someone's house, every time you leave a room, say bye, demons. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Right. But as he was saying goodbye, the planchette started to spell something else out, and it spelled out and moved to these letters. I will see you in hell. Don't that's a pretty me. long message. That you know that would take a while. And I feel a, like I feel like if this in this situation this like, most people would let go of the planchet by this point because they'd be like, no nah, man. And if this was like 1999 and early 2000 texting, this would te- it's, that's easier than spelling out words on a Ouija board. You know, you know what I'm saying with the flip phones. Yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure. Haptic. That's I right. Think is what it's called. Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's like when you're just like praying to God, you never have to say use the letter S or Z, <laughs> yeah. or like. Anything past like an exclamation point as far as punctuation because you get one 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 zero for space seven 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 eight two nine 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 sweet stay I don't know why that was the fucking word for anybody that doesn't remember doing that stop listening to us you're too fucking young <laughs> yes but. After uh, the board spelled out, I will see you in hell, which would freak anybody out, I would think. But like you said, I think I don't think they would get it all out because you would let go and say, what the fuck? But he freaked out, and Darren threw the board against the wall and left the room. I think that's a common response that's fair. to s- such things. Now, at this point, Darren's life began to spiral out of control. He starts having night terrors and awakes often awakes uh, and isn't able to move, which is called sleep paralysis, and he, which is not, let's be honest, not necessarily a demon or a shadow. And also, we're talking about, did you hear the, the think about this. Think about Oklahoma in yeah. the early 80s with a, a kid that's how old? In his late teens, I would imagine. Who's obsessed with ACDC. Yeah. Those, he wasn't having night terrors and shit. He was having fucking bush light relapses. Or relapses, withdrawals. <clears throat> Very possible. But like like we talked about earlier in earlier episodes I, episodes, I know we've talked about it. Sleep paralysis isn't proof of the paranormal. When you sleep, your body is paralyzed. So you do not act out your dreams. Your brain... Releases a chemical. Don't ask me what fucking chemical, because I'm not a doctor. Maltodextrin. Sure, we'll go with that. I'm, I think it's an ingredient in food. I don't know, but your body releases a chemical or something does something, whatever, to paralyze your body, so you do not act out your dreams. Mm. Of course, yes. 
That is sorry. That is what it is because it's from Daddy Daycare. Oh. You seen Daddy Daycare? Oh, She's it's been the little hypochondriac kid who's like, my mother says I can't have maltodextrin, and there's maltodextrin in here, and like this little like four year old girl, with, I think she had glasses, was just like maltodextrin, and it's just it's burnt in my mind forever. Now the but like anyway, before I move on, sleep paralysis does not prove shit. Now I'm not saying it. There couldn't be some paranormal or demonic type shit going on if you wake up and can't move. But chances are slim. In my expert, I would paranormal, have to agree. I would concur. I mean, it's happened to me, and I've even seen a shadow figure. It was as fucking morning wood. Yeah, it was really, really tiny shadow. It'd be a shag- it's a shadow figurine. It didn't, even, <laughs> it didn't even project onto the wall. It just barely projected past my hip. Moving on. Anyway, now these terrifying ev- events uh, were then followed by knocking, banging on the house, footsteps, and things such as that. So basically, his house became haunted at this time. Something was trying to interact with him, or he was. Yeah, his baby mama sister cousin. I don't know. But now, I'm not sure if the other people were experiencing these same things, but he was experiencing these. Now, it would be much better if other people in the house were experiencing or re- reporting these things. Uh, the ev- activity eventually moved to other parts of the house, even during the daytime, which I love people that talk about this and make such a big deal. I know. They're like, daytime like Yeah, they'll be like, I hear footsteps even during the daytime. Even during the daytime? No shit. I'd cut to fucking Zach Bagans. I, last I checked, I do not believe... The spirit world, if it is a thing, punches a time clock and doesn't start till 11 o'clock at night. I'm pretty sure it's open 24-7. I mean, they had a fucking... Just saying. They had a, what was that, like some type of HR or some shit in Beetlejuice. That's a good point. But daytime proves nothing. Now, all of this activity left... <laughs> Check. Left Darren with the feeling he was being watched by an entity... That he could not see. Now, this I can't disagree with this. If you're experiencing this, whether it be real or not real, or there are plausible explanations for it, you're still going to get that feeling of being watched. Your mind is going to tell you that. That is a human reaction to experiencing the paranormal. Just ask Samwell. Who the fuck is that? I always feel like somebody's watching me. Now, no matter how scary or terrifying these events had become, he still had a crazy desire to find answers to what was happening, mainly the Ouija board. He continued to use the board to find answers, and the paranormal activity goes along with it every time. Hmm. Which... Great movie. you You know, this is not... If the... There is some kind of attachment, or you are making contact. Not shocking. I mean, it's kind of one of those, like, where there's smoke, there's fire situations. And isn't that kind of the purpose? Oh, you, speaking of, fucking house down the street almost burned goddamn down. Yes, it did. Didn't talk about that. That sucks. Shout yeah. out to them. I don't know who they are. Yeah, well, but yeah. if there's like a, if there's a community cookout to help raise benefit money, I will go have a hot dog. Right. Put I, that together. But I would you. I think that is the whole oh. goal to get paranormal activity when you're using a Ouija board. That's yeah, who the fuck just pulls out their Ouija board and they're like, they, but the, the literally the, that's what they're made for. Exactly, the spirit board. No, it wasn't. Nobody's just like, what? Ooh, they should fucking. That'd be interesting. You fucking have like a horror movie. Okay, we'll set the scene. Okay, new family. Early, early to mid sixties. Early to mid sixties. Got it. Uh, we'll say they're in New Hampshire. Okay. They just bought their dream home, in right. the, on the harbor. It's got a it's got a an Amityville situation, but smaller and more uh, modest. Okay. <laughs> they get out of there. <laughs> uh, I don't know. They're. They get out of their nomad wagon. All right. I'm listening. I'm Dad, following. mom, 
Uh, we're going to go Chris Pratt and a young Heather Locklear. Ooh. Yeah. Kids, the kids from fucking Step Brothers. Okay. She's got it. Those two kids acting the same way as they did in that movie. Okay. One of them is deaf. After they go in, the little deaf kid gets to adventure in the house, goes down to the cellar, the root cellar, of course, finds a, a, a board with writing on it. What is this board? It's a fucking Ouija board. Kid uses it to talk to people instead of a little writing pad. Fucking demon. I, I like it. Let's clip that and send it to Universal. I don't know. I don't know either. Don't really care. Go on. But where was I? I don't even know. It wasn't long before he could hear uh, moaning coming from the walls or some other parts of the house. Feel free to explain in the chat what the what's false. Go ahead. I don't care. I don't even read that. Uh, shit. He knew he shouldn't be doing this these sessions as when shit starts going real or getting real. Maybe you gotta stop. I'm just saying. And he's still using the board of up course, to this point. It's a fucking Ouija board. It's a fucking game. You can get them off Amazon. And I will get into that in the end. It's not that I'm saying. You can probably get them from fucking Target. It's not that I'm saying their Ouija boards are bullshit, but it's it's the person using them. Let's be honest. Anyway. He promised himself he wouldn't take part in this anymore. However, he seemed to be drawn to the board and whatever was attached to it. Uh, Darren continued to fool around with the board and the Demon Zozo for years. In his adult years, he worked in construction. One day at work, he was digging in the ground and made a shocking discovery. He found an old jar with the remains of another rotting blackbird. Coincidence? It was just around town? Was there any geographical location? I'm sorry. He, didn't, I, he did not give me the fucking address. It's a fair question. Of course it's around town. Well, yeah, I'm not like a word like on his property. No, he, I said he was working construction while he was on the job. You never know. Why would, why would he be doing construction? Maybe work? he swung by the house real quick. He had a little like fucking a septic tank to dig real quick, and he s- swung by with the guys in the fucking excavator and just knocked it out real quick. You never know. Maybe. No. I feel like it would be worse if it was also on his property. See, no, I don't think so, no. What if it was just a layer of dead crows? I think it's more interesting that it was a property he wasn't attached to in any way. I didn't live or... That's fair. I think it's more of a... Mm. More fascinating. Put, makes it a little bit more creepy. Hmm. Fair uh, enough. One night in 1985, so so three years later, I believe, from the first incident, Darren and a friend decide to do another Ouija board session. Once again... So they he, had a fucking slumber party because that's where that shit happens? Once again, they tried to make contact with Bon Scott because just can't let the man rest in peace. No, we got to bother him with a fucking Ouija board. These kids are on a highway to hell. Now, this time, <laughs> however, the board seemed to play along with them. Of course it is. That thing's explosive. That thing's just TNT, ready to go off at any time. They, uh, As they were interacting with the board and it was getting responses, they were they were sure they were talking to the front, former front man of ACDC. So they threw it in the basement so they could be back in black. No. The board seemed to <laughs> communicate with them in an Australian... Australian dialect, so it said mate a lot. I guess I don't know. I, fuck, I don't know what that means. I guess they say Fosters, Australian for beer. What the fuck? How do they? What's an Australian uh, uh, jump bear? I don't know. Anyway, or what a drop bear? But here they call koalas drop bears. Here's where it gets interesting. At some point during the session, the dead rock star that they were communicating with, or demon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the board asked them to light a cigarette and place it in the hole of the planchette. They did exactly as they were asked. Don't and, smoke. And to their amazement, the cigarette began to glow like Bond Scott himself was sucking on the filter. You know how you, anybody that smokes, you know, you know, the cherry lights up when you. Yeah. I question. <laughs> I, I hope this is his words. That'd be great. Why? Excuse me. If he specifically said Bond Scott himself, I'd be like, "Motherfucker, oh, <laughs> why is that?" Out of out of the the billions of people that have been on this world, why is it specifically him? Automatically, without proof, unless like you just got the planche and it's like, "I'm fucking Bond Scott." <sighs> anyway, 
I mean, I don't know. How many dead Australians could there be in hell? I don't know. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, once the rock star, dead rock star, or just regular Australian finished the cigarette, the session took a much darker turn. The plane shit began to spell out, fuck you, Randy. Randy was the name of his friend. I spell that out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I will have your soul and see you in hell. Again. It's a lot these of... are the longest messages I've ever heard transcribed from a fucking Ouija board. It might be bullshit. I'm just saying. I'm just re- Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just informing. <laughs> I know. I'm not. I'm just saying. Like, the... the how does that not seem fishy? Like, who are you sitting at this Ouija board for three minutes getting one message? <laughs> at least it's not Morse code. For the and how would you remember? I feel like I would have forgot eventually. <laughs> Good point. Because both of you are fucking touching the planchet. Good point. Now, the demonic speaker, because we're pretty sure now it's not Bon Scott. Pretty sure now. I think mm-hmm. we can go out of that limb and say it wasn't Bon Scott. I I would almost venture to say that it never was. I think we're right here because what whomever they were speaking to signed off. Good grammar. Thank you. Every now and then I you know, I'm every now and then I can throw it out. It's one I, of my favorite things from I'm gonna have to make you watch Archer. No, dude, it's so funny. And like that's one of the things from it. Like they'll be like, And who decided to do that? And somebody in the background will just be like or whom. <laughs> <laughs> but the demonic speaker signed off as Zozo. Dun, dun, dun. So, that's such a stupid fucking name. Okay, so, no. Actually, you know what? Now I have a real problem with this whole Zozo shenanigan. Are you making light of Zozo? The I'm, demon Zozo? D- fuck Zozo. Here's the problem with this bullshit. Yeah. First off, Ouija boards are fucking bullshit. We, we will. At least, we like, to me. Like, I, if you were like, we're going to do a Ouija board, I'd be like, <laughs> and then I would just fucking leave. I'd be like, you're stupid. This is lame. Give me my six pack of tall boys. I'm out of here. Second. That's three. Second, <laughs> if this motherfucker, scroll up real quick. What? I'll tell you where to stop. To the quote. If this motherfucker can spell out, fuck you, Randy, I'll have your soul and I'll see you in hell. This bitch can spell that out, but it can't have a more fucking intricate name than Zozo. You can write a fucking complete sentence. I hope it was punctuated, too. I hope they have punctuation along the bottom of a Ouija board that had commas and everything. I think they should. But your name is Zozo? You can zo-fuck yourself. That's bullshit. Have a better fucking name. Which, actually, now that I think of it, a lot of demons have pretty fucking boring names, like Baal. Well, we'll get into Zozo, a little bit of the history oh, of, Zozo, it. of Zozo in a little bit. Yeah, see, that's the other Once thing. We finish up this phase is, so, do you think zozo will ever reach the level of being one of the demons that thou shalt not name i actually they say you're not supposed to say his name while touching the uh zozo zozo <laughs> i'm pretty sure we did that when we used the fucking thing i, I know we did but i also asked if epstein killed himself and uh, that was the only answer we got we got a resounding no from the ouija board when i asked it if epstein killed himself okay i have to confess that was me moving it nonsense anyway obviously this whole randy go fuck yourself comment (laughs) upset them both uh creeped them out and they ended the session they tossed the board outside on the balcony of darren's apartment what if that's just like some dead language version of like ha 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 like you know how if you see it in like a spanish person puts it it's jay's like cha 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 what if it's just zo 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 what if it's supposed to be instead of a z and x maybe this is a loving so so this is a loving hugs and kisses. Well, couldn't you off- still make the argument that it would be Zozo even if it was X's potentially? Mm, maybe. Maybe it's just a loving angel trying to hugs and kisses after they fuck you, Randy. I'll see you in hell. You could almost hugs just and kisses. Make, you could almost make a creepy name with every letter of the alphabet out of that that structure. Lolo. The demon of Blowjobs, what? Eddie Guerrero's low rider. I don't know. Anyway, okay. So they threw the the uh, board out on the out on the balcony of the apartment. Whatever. Good for them. Trailer. <laughs> Let's be real here. <laughs> Once they were back in the apartment, Randy was visibly angry and began to cuss at the Ouija board demon. 
So calling Zozo out. That'll help. I'm pretty sure I got it's me a demon. Talk. What the fuck? What are you cussing? Okay, so if you <laughs> you think that he cussed out the demon and then they're he's like, fuck you, bitch. You ain't going to come in my goddamn double wide and disrespect me in front of my sister wife. I ain't having none of that shit. Suck my balls. And like then they're like, all right. And they sit back down and touch, put their hands on the planchet and it's an argument back and forth. No, the demon, fuck like, you. Yeah. <laughs> I lived here first. Get the fuck off my lawn. Suck my this, is a tra- this is my house. It was my lawn before it was your motherfucking house. Get the fuck out of here. That would be the longest and most boring <laughs> argument of all time. It'd be like, he'd with be like, a lot of spelling mistakes. He'd be, he'd either have a, you'd either have a heart attack or you'd be the Incredible Hulk by the time it was over. Could you imagine being a heating arg- a heated conversation and not only do you have to allow the other side of it to say what it's saying, but you have to wait for it to spell it. So it's just like, fuck you and your fucking stupid demon house. And they'd be like, fuck your mother. Oh, hell no, <laughs> motherfucker. And just repeat that like 10 times. And then by the time it's over, he's just like fucking breaking shit. And he's like, ah! Screaming at the planchette while it's moving around. <laughs> right. Okay. Now, and then to make it better, camera angle where you got a reverse angle and it is Bond Scott on the other side of the planchette just fucking screaming at him. All right. Now, in the years to come, Randy's life took a turn for the worse. He no became shit. He became an alcoholic, went through a nasty divorce. So he's the same as 50% of the men in this country. Was, <laughs> what the fuck? Let's say, so he's a male U.S. citizen. Right, so let's fast forward to the year 2005. Darren and Randy decide to run it back, baby, and give Whoa, them, how long, la- how much, 20 years 20 later? 20 years later, and give the old Ouija Who board another go. Well, you're telling me both of these individuals survived for another 20 years and didn't get put in prison or die? No, Darren's been on Ghost Adventures, damn it. He's a, a, a legitimate paranormal researcher now. The best moment, I'm not going to lie. I watched Ghost Adventures. We've talked about this. Yeah. Like, I don't hate on them that much. They're f- easy to make crack jokes about. But the best thing I've seen on Ghost Adventures in my life was when Zach Bagans farted. Did you ever see that? No, I don't think. He, like, legit. Because, like, everybody asks all the time on, like, Reddit and shit. They're like, I wonder if they ever fart. And there is one where he's just like, Spar. And he's like, did you hear that? Did you guys hear that? <laughs> he's like, I don't know what that was. And then they're like, oh, dude. And he's like, fuck you. Blow it out your ass, Alice. Next. Okay, anyway, so they decide to give the old Ouija board another shot. During this session, Randy made the wise choice to ask the board how he would die. Always a good idea. The board responded with, in a car wreck, alone. On the morning... On one morning in 2007, Darren received a call from Randy's girlfriend saying he never came home from his place the previous night. Sure enough, Randy was involved in a head-on collision on his way home. Coincidence? Or did... I thought you were just going to break into song. I dug my keys into (laughs) the side of his pretty... (laughs) Or did Zozo get his revenge? Go on. Now, these are the silly things. Now, we are making a little light of it. And I'm sure, I don't know if these are true. I don't know. I mean, I'm not this, saying I mean, that he didn't get in a car accident and none of that shit. But, like, I'm be, saying, this, the, fuck off with your Ouija board demon. This might be a one hell of a coincidence. I, I will say that. I don't know. Maybe maybe this is a real, real, this is all real. I don't know. But, anyway. This For the that, sake of the story, we'll. We'll play along it, We'll at least. Act like we're acting like we believe it. Now, this deadly event wasn't the worst effect that Zozo had on Darren and his family. Now, Darren was still residing in Oklahoma City. Uh, he had a, still had a fascination with the occult to go along with the uh, Ouija board addiction. Which he still had an obsession with uh, cheaply made knives with NASCAR handles. Which is all, I, I have to say, I kind of get why. If you have, if you ex- I'm sure if this he, actually happened. If he experienced all this, you would naturally want to get to some answers. And doing yeah. research on this, eventually it would lead to the occult. I'll give you that. It's That's where the road goes. There's no way around it. You know, and if A you're, highway to hell. Per Bon Scott. 
and Angus Young. Bow, bow, so I, this does not shock me that, oh, my God, he was into the cult. Of course he's into the cult. If you're do, fucking around with Ouija boards and trying to find answers to a question of if Zozo is a real thing, you're going to hit the fucking cult button at, at some point. Yeah, I feel like most people that are, like, regularly participating in Ouija boards aren't like, oh, shit. I mean, oh, dang, dag nabbit, guys. We got to stop the Ouija board. I got fucking, I, I got, I don't know, church. What? Uh, somebody loves your shirt. Is that a? Is that it's a morbid podcast? You're repping another podcast on our fuck yeah, on yeah. our live stream. Fuck yeah, yeah, we're taking a fucking screenshot of this and I'm putting it on our goddamn Instagram. I'm tagging morbid. Keep it weird. Oh Jesus! I'm gonna steal that. That's such a great outro. Have you heard that? I. They say they both say keep it weird, and then one of them is just like, like. But not so weird that you kill your whole family and then you try to cover it up and you eat their bones and you make a soup out of it. <laughs> Bye. Well, we need to come up with something like that. Like, let's put like, keep it hard or something. That's just stupid. <laughs> All right. For I one, know how we come up with it. Nobody says woot woot. Whoever's typing that in the ta- in the chat, do not do not do that again. If there's a P on it, she could be a juggalo. Woot woot. <laughs> All right. Oh, I know who it is. We know who that is. Anyway. Okay, so anyway, a cult equals Ouija board. We know this. You're going to hit those fucking buttons. I've looked into the cult just doing a goddamn why does, podcast. Why does fucking Chris Tucker come up all the time in my mind? <laughs> Push the goddamn button. Okay, so one night Darren was doing a session with Ke- his wife, Kathleen. Oh, Theoretically, what? couldn't you just Ouija board with a keyboard? And these <laughs> motherfuckers could write their own goddamn messages? I would be more apt to do it. Can you, hey, this is modern fucking, this is 2023. Send me a fucking text. Or oh, I'm just saying, like, you're telling me that there can't be a ghost that's been born in the last, like, 50 years that knows something about technology? Well, you know, we this is a subject we might cover at some point. There have been, you know, voice messages left from the beyond. We might do an episode on that. People receiving voice messages shortly after. That could be interesting. You know, like a death. Somebody's died. And there's a voice message that wasn't there before. Or it's your friend and it's like a voicemail that you would get from your friend. It's like a ghost fart and then like them laughing. Or the message was sent after the official time of death kind of thing. Yeah. I've heard stories of that. Maybe we'll do that in an upcoming episode. Which is, I think that's a more efficient way to communicate with. Sounds like I'm going to fire up Reddit for that one. Yes. So anyway, one night Darren was doing a session with his wife Kathleen while their daughter slept in her room. The session took a dark turn when something seemed to enter and take over Darren. Ooh, dun 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 possession. Take on me. Karen felt like something was ev- something evil was inside him and he started staring Who? <laughs> some some dude named Evil was inside him. Did you say know. did you say Karen? Oh, did I say Karen? I think you did. Kathleen felt like something evil was it <laughs> was staring back at her through Darren's eyes. We'll just go with that. Quickly, Darren got violent and proceeded to attack Kathleen. Mm. Kathleen, this is where, Hot. listen to this part of the story. This is why I don't get, so, one, Darren's attacking Kathleen. But being possessed, attacking Kathleen. Yes. Kathleen Check. was able to say goodbye on the Ouija board and close the session before, and the possession stopped. So, let me get, let me paint this picture for you. Now, I don't know what's going on. I'm just hearing the word attack. So I'm assuming there is some physical contact. when you Rocking her body with nasty hooks. And she hooks. can spell out or say goodbye and move the planchette while... Well, no, you just have to say goodbye. No, yeah. There's thought... a goodbye. Yeah, you have to move the planchette to goodbye. Yeah, so you just... Bye! Yeah. Now... Deuces! While she's getting thumped... I mean, all she's got to do, like, theoretically, right, is, like, reach up and grab it and just, like, drag it real quick and be like, bye. But on a positive note, she was not harmed. Yeah. And apparently saying goodbye on the Ouija board, closing out the session, ended the possession. That would have made... A bars. Much, that would have made a much shorter Exorcist movie. That was bars. We got to clip that uh, and uh, put it over, like, a fucking Dr. Dre beat. 
<laughs> of course, after a few moments, Darren Darren would calm down and have no memory of what just happened. Of course, he would have no memory of just beating the <laughs> shit out of your wife. <laughs> you know what, Your Honor? I'm going with the Ouija board defense. I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure that this demon's real name was like Southern Comfort. <laughs> after this night, things began to escalate even more for Darren and his family. What? At this point, with this timeline, four locos. He's drinking four locos. Did you? I wonder if they could hear my stomach growl on the I microphone. Could hear it. Is that or you're farting? One of the two. Let's, Continue. Let's don't do that. I just want to see if it works. Uh, <laughs> the family began to hear everything from footsteps, footsteps to banging, hissing, and knocking noises coming from the house. Uh, the family was hissing. This is this is kind of funny, which I don't. It's funny, but it's not funny. I should say that the family was family was so scared they picked a room upstairs and called it their safe room. <laughs> I don't know whether I don't know why does that work. I mean, well, we'll get into this. I think. I think honestly, if you know anything <laughs> about the paranormal, it's not about crosses, crucifix, or religious artifacts. It's about you. I can make. If I believe this remote for the light has power and has meaning to me, if it, say my daughter gave this to me and I love this remote, if it brought me power, brought me comfort, I could use this. It's not about the cross or the crucifix or holy water. It's about the energy that what something means to you. That's fucking great. That should be in movies too. What? Well, I've said this. Like instead of somebody like pulling out the fucking what the, the uh, crucifix, it's like one of those chickens that you squeeze and it goes. On a serious note, whatever gives you strength is protection against. Yeah, like the totems in fucking Inception. Right. That get it doesn't. I guess not, but yeah. It doesn't have to be something religious. If it gives you strength, as you are the strength. So I kind of get this, make a safe room, make it a room you are safe in, fill it with things that empower you or fill you with love or whatever. Yeah, what's that song? What? It said, like, the Oz never gave the Tin Man nothing that he never had. Right. So anyway, so they made, they made a room, a safe room, which I don't know. That's I mean, I don't, I'm don't i not going to crack too many jokes about. One night, Darren woke up with a weird feeling in a panic. He jumped up and went to the safe room. He then realized he left his family behind. <laughs> he, he leaves to go get them, and as he gets his wife, and he goes looks for his daughter, he gets to the stairs, and he sees his daughter at the bottom of the stairs. She heard him, you know, get a little red buck screaming, I guess. Well, yeah. <laughs> at this time, his daughter appears to be lifted up by something that they could not see. Michael Bublé. Yes. The Hansy demon began to carry off his daughter and take her by down the, to whoa, the basement. Whoa, Hansy? Yeah, Hansy. I mean, if it's just picking up, oh, go on. Did she consent to being picked up? Well, and yeah, but the like, when you say handsy, I think something a little different than, like, if a little kid ran up to you Maybe and you were like. Maybe the was using this as an excuse, excuse to cop a feel. It's the kid part. I'm just like, I'm, I, I'm just saying, like, if, if some little kid walked up and was like, I'm lost, and you picked him up, I'd be like, whoa, Phil, a little handsy, don't you think? Anyway, Darren ran down the stairs to save his daughter. Uh, Fo, don't just don't leave. How about don't leave your fucking family in the haunted house like, when you're just like fuck y'all, I'm out. Uh, what he, the fuck? He lost sight of sight of her. However, he heard muffled screams coming from the basement. Of course, he attempted to open the basement door, but and it was he locked. Yeah, right? Of course, so he had a Hulk moment and forced the door open and scooped up his daughter and retreated back to the safe room. Also, a, an issue I take with movies about stuff like this adjacent. Adjacent. Yeah, it's all the parents that are like, yeah. I'm like, you telling me that there's any door in your house that's not an external door that you're not taking off the hinges somehow if your child is just screaming bloody murder on the other side? Right. I don't even have kids. If I heard a kid screaming bloody murder on the other side of that door right now, not even my kid. I don't have them. You bet your sweet fucking bottom dollar that my foot's going through that motherfucker and I'm going to go, hey, chill the fuck out. What's going on? And also, what are you doing in our house? <laughs> right. Now, so after he grabbed his daughter, ran back up to the safe room, He, the family, so th now everybody's in the safe room. Mm -hmm. The panic room, if you will. First, he forgot them. 
<laughs> said, save yourself, bitches. Save did, yourself. See, that's my question. Did he really forget them? Or did he consciously choose to make that decision? And then he got up there and he was like, fuck. I'm going to probably go back. Now that he righted it wrong, he's, he's got them all. All accounted for. All parties are here in the safe room. They could still hear footsteps continuing to move throughout the house. Now, this event forced um, the family to realize that the house was no longer safe and they had to leave. Fair enough. I get that. Eventually, Darren and his family moved to another home. However, the demonic activity, sudden withdrawal from their home, did not stop Darren's... Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez, what the fuck was that? However, this sudden rapid moving... Mm -hmm. The cease and desist. Did not stop his... You think you've learned a lesson. He still fucked around with the demon or with the Ouija board. Hey. I mean, learn your lesson. That's like getting a DUI, getting out of jail, and going to the fucking bar. We both know that happens pretty often. Oh, well, good point. Now, I... And he continues to talk about... Now, I'm, maybe he doesn't do uh, Ouija board sessions anymore, even though I'm pretty sure he did a Ouija board session on a Halloween edition of Ghost Adventures. Was he, does this make him like the Ouija expert? I kind of like yeah. he's just got a one way line to Zozo whenever he wants. Yeah, they're on a first name basis. They're on a first letter basis. He calls D him and Z, Z and he calls him D. I would believe it. That's fucking ridiculous. Go on. But you know, I don't know if this is real. I'm sure something happened. Now I wonder how much of this story is embellished and how much of it is meth. No, I'm not even saying that. Now he, I'm sure they experienced something. I don't put a big. I don't put a lot of faith in the Ouija board. It's not the Ouija board. It's the person using it. If you if you are a person that is sensitive to paranormal activity, whether it be an empath or somebody who does The Ouija have, board is strictly a conduit. Right. There's a reason why you and I did not get anything other than we were being smart asses. And we never will. <laughs> because I don't believe... I don't... I personally don't put any stock into it. If and if it's a, in my personal opinion, if a demon needs a fucking piece of plastic or wood with a little planchette to communicate with me, fuck you. Yeah, was it like twelve dollars? Probably. I don't know. I think again. A, I feel like it might change if we get one that is a little more ancient. Now, if you get a demon that can, or an entity or whatever that can, I don't know, use lipstick and write on the wall, that's a much better way to communicate to me. That might be an upcoming episode, actually. So, I never did put a lot of faith in the Ouija board. However, if somebody is connected to the spirit world or does have an attachment, I can see a Ouija board having some effect, uh, having some usefulness, an easier way for something to break through. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say this. If you believe the Ouija board is a way to contact the dead, there is a good chance that something might, just that intention opens the door. You understand what, does it make sense mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just the intention. It's not the board, it's the intention yeah. behind it. If you are intending to open a door, make contact with a, the late singer of ACDC. AC well, it's just Scott. like you were saying with the remote. Like how things, right. people like put power into things. It's just, it's just your, your, your misconception of reality making it out to give things power that they do or don't have and then you, sometimes you're like this one's good and you're like that's a bad one so I'm not saying that the Ouija board is completely full of shit and I'm not saying the story is full of shit I'm sure something happened I don't necessarily believe it was a Ouija board I believe it was something whatever he and his family experienced it was because he showed intention mm. his intent was to make contact, and that opened the door to some of this activity. Now, do I believe 100% that his daughter was picked up by a handsy spirit? And nah. I, it's possible. I'm sure something happened. I don't know what happened. I was not there. And I've always, when it comes to paranormal, if I'm not there, I'm not going to make a judgment call. Maybe it happened, maybe it didn't. I'm sure something happened. There was a traumatic event that night. I bet my bottom dollar. That's fair. I will definitely, when I feel the need, say that I don't think it happened. 
exactly the way. That it never way. does. And I've heard him recount the story. I believe it was on Ghost Adventures. That's why I the want story like, with the uh, handing spirit. Yeah, I want like fucking like East Coast parents in the background while all these interviews and shit about this stuff is going on, and then. The demon levitated my wife six feet off the couch, and like the guy's dad from fucking Boston's like, "Oh fuck you, that never <laughs> friggin' happened." And they're just like, "Fuck, you can't argue with that." Look at him, look at him, drinking a Mickey's, wearing a Red Sox hat. Okay, that I, man doesn't lie. I think that covers Mr. Darren Evans. Something weird happened. Don't know the extent. I'm not sure it was a Ouija board. I think that was just a coincidence. And he gave his demon a stupid name. The demon gave it himself, if you listen to the story. Oh, um, okay. Now, but speaking, of, let's go into the history of Zozo. It's He's not, Zozo has been around for millennia. Well, you would think. Now, Zozo has m- many different meanings in many different languages. But here is one fascinating one. Zozo's meaning in Old Basque language means blackbird or crow. Very interesting when you think about the story. What was in the four jars on the corner? Crows. Exactly. What did he dig up at work? A jar with crows. What now, movie set did Brandon Lee die on? The crow. What was the that one decent Beatles song? Uh, I don't believe there was one. Blackbird. Oh, anyway. Now, for those who don't know, Basque is a region adjacent to northern Spain and southwestern France. The Basque people. So. Yes. Any, any last man standing fans, Ed Elzate was from Basque. Fair enough. Right. I don't know who the fuck that is. Now, other uh, countries, I guess, that have a Zozo connection. Zozo is also related to the voodoo practices in Haiti by the Zo people. I did not know this. I well, there's also a fucking gang in Miami, right? Well, the Zoe Pound, and in this commu- I guess the Zoe people, the wit their witch doctors were called Zozo. So there is some occult type, dark, darker association with the word Zozo. I know, especially, I love people that are like, I'm not into all that shit, but voodoo, man. I'm like, then you are into that shit. What the fuck do you mean? Like, stop stop cherry picking fucking the paranormal. Now, in the Malay language, I don't know what that is. Malay. Malay. Whatever. Zozo Malaysia. Me- Zozo means wandering spirit. Now, they believe wandering spirits steal people's souls as they sleep. That would make sense. I'll... St- I'll see you in hell. Straight line, A to B. Yeah, I like that. I'll take your soul. Zozo was quoted, spelled it out, grammatically correct. I'll take your soul, Randy. Fuck you, Fuck Randy. You. Randy. I'll take your soul. I'll see you in hell. There's no way I'm sitting there and letting a fucking anything talk that much when I have to be the one in charge. Right. Fuck you. You get yes and no, and I ask questions, and you answer yes or no. Other than that, go fuck yourself. We ain't got time for long winded demons and shit. My luck, I get a di- dyslexic spirit. His name's Ozoz. Like I said, <laughs> maybe he was fucking dyslexic. Now, Zozo had, like we said, Darren did not invent Zozo. Zozo's, the first mention of Zozo was in a book by Colin de Plancy, who lived between 1793 and 1887. He wrote a book called the Dictionary Infernal, Infernal, I guess. La Dictionnaire Infernal. Which was published in 1918. Good year. Uh, the author describes a case of possession of a young girl who claimed to be harassed by three evil spirits. Zozo, Mimi, and what is it, Capulet? What is this? It says Crapulet or Crapulet. Cap. I don't think it would be a Capulet because the Capulets was one of the families from Romeo and Juliet. Unless, I mean, it could be. What? Uh, the Montagues and the Capulets? Yes, that's what I was going to say. You know, we have a Shakespearean family, Mimi. Could be. Mimi, uh, the Mimi, bitch from the Drew Carey show. Drew Carey show and Zozo. Anyway. Good, it's a good thing this. Uh, Got an Earl's chair. 
This is gonna this is gonna be a short episode. Why? You gotta poop? No. Uh the demon Zozo was clearly a, tr- a attracting has an attraction towards people of the female sex. Of this under this French dude. Uh, Zozo would also be attracted to people with suicidal tendencies, depression, and a psychological d- disorder. Now, this is not. Let's be honest. Let's yeah, these are Zozo. all. This is all just. You're just fucking again. You're you're just grabbing straws because all this shit just kind of makes sense. Let's paranormal activity, like possession, for instance. I'm going to, I've always stated, if you are of weak mind, you are more, the demon has a much better chance of taking over your, if possession is real, somebody is of weak mind has a much greater chance of being possessed. Yeah. And also. I mean, it's not their fault. I also think that some psychological disorders have just been straight up mistaken for fucking possession. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're just, like, this right. can be, like, the whoever wrote this. See, the only interesting thing to me is, or what makes it less interesting, or not less interesting, less plausible, is he wrote this in, what, 1918 it was published? Uh, yes. 100% in 1918, there was way more people with schizophrenia that the church was going, he's a demon. Mm-hmm. We must exercise the demon mm-hmm. in Basque. Yeah, so it's, I mean, I think people with psychological problems are much more likely to have issues with, if there is a, if there is such a thing as obsession and demonic obsession or possession, they are at a greater risk. I will say that than somebody that just don't give a fuck. Yeah. Or. The next part is more interesting to me. Right. And we've kind of discussed this a little bit, I believe in a previous, uh. We've, we've touched on it. Zozo has another name, possibly. Pazuzu, a uh, Mesopotamian de- deity, the king of wind, the wind demons, which I never... They give fucking... I love Everything's them. got a demon and a saint. I, 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 well, well, see, here's the thing. Ooh. Pazuzu was a, just a deity. It wasn't necessarily negative. Pazuzu was a... They say a powerful demon, but he was oft, often used as a shield against other supernatural terrors. So he, he was more, or she, I don't know, I don't want to misjudge the fucking Pazuzu, was used to help. And the Mesopotamian people or their religion or whatever, demon doesn't necessarily, doesn't mean bad. Back, according to their, basically it's used interchangeably with angels. As You, know, you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Demon doesn't mean negative. Are we going to talk about Pazuzu Algarad? We can a little bit here in a minute. Uh, but well, because I think there's another. Well, I can throw it in on that. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay, well, go ahead. Go ahead. And talk about Pazuzu all over. No, you can. I just had some other. Oh wait, never mind. It's in there. I read. A, I was looking for one specific word. I was going to say the Exorcist thing. Okay. Well, there, yeah, I'll get to it. Uh, some people believe that Zozo is also one of the fallen angels that fell from grace with good old Lucy. Very possible, I guess. I don't fucking know. They all are, aren't they? Like, not literally, but, like, isn't that, like, when they want it big and bad, that's the fucking title they give it. They're like, it's it's an OG one. Now, here is the million-dollar question. How did Zozo get tied to the Ouija board? It wasn't Mr. Darren Evans. I was just going to say because it's easy to spell. That's true. It's most likely due to the fact that it, the Ouija board is credited as the cause of the Exorcist movie, which was based on a real boy that uh, used a Ouija board and got possessed by a mm-hmm. demon. And isn't isn't the the uh, Exorcist like the demon in the Exorcist Pazuzu? Correct. That. Like actually, like in the Exorcist. Yes. Okay. The book. That oh, there's a. I didn't even know there was a book. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the book of the Exorcist. It was actually a book for, first. Uses Zuzu as the name. I'm an idiot. I don't fucking read. You know that. <laughs> but as we just stated, Zozo is kind of a cool little. Has been reported to be a cool little nickname for Zuzu. Yeah. Like, which instead of Zozo, why, why couldn't it just be Zuzu? Mm-hmm. I think that would work a little bit better. 
Now, other Ouija board and Zozo cases. Good in, point. What? I, Zuzu instead of Zozo. Or maybe they didn't have you in the language. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. That's uh, another interesting thought I've never had. What about like the the since you know some things <laughs> don't you know they're dead and stuff. I wonder if there's ever like a problem with like if all this is real with um the difference in the evolution of the different languages over time. Like how like French in like 1600 is not the same as the French they speak now and all that like how everything changes. Yeah. I wonder if there's ever any misreads from the other side because of that it's very possible science okay so like i said other uh, ouija board and zozo cases in 1972 doris bither i guess bither i know this i know who you're talking about use a ouija board and was continuously haunted and harassed by some dark evil entity so you could literally do an episode just on her uh 77 to 79 the enfield poltergeist i think we did an episode on that uh i don't i think we touched i think we talked a little bit about it. i, I might think of that demon demon of brownsville yeah, road might be thinking that but basically this was the incident that inspired the uh conjuring 2 which i if i'm not mistaken i and think in they, steps the warren i i i might be wrong on this didn't one of the girls come out and say it was all faked well, one of the one of the infill girls. Oh, I don't know. I think I might be wrong on this. A one. lot of that shit's come out. Like, I think about a lot. There of was them. two. There was, if I'm thinking, there was two two daughters, right? Uh, yeah, I think. I think I don't know. If there's like what, like four fucking conjurings. It gets hard to remember. Yeah, I think one of. If I I might be wrong on that, but I thought one. of I know there was a warrant case that they came out and said it was all bullshit. Well, there's they, they say that about Amityville too. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Did you watch the documentary about the, uh, what's his name, the kid of the family that lived in the Amityville house? Oh. Got all fucked up on drugs and shit? No. Oh, yeah, there's a documentary where, like, they yeah, find him it. and they talk to him. It's, it's I mean, it's interesting yeah. to watch, but I don't, I'm not saying it, it fucking p- proves anything to me. But, you know, if you're just laying around with your hand on your balls, not a bad watch. Yeah, now, in 2012, a group of off-duty soldiers... Decided to play around with the Ouija board. They interacted with apparently Zozo. Uh, the demon told them one would die. One man apparently was possessed while they were driving back and tried to kill them in a car crash. However, the demon left the man's body right before the wreck. So he couldn't. So he's get the a job liar. Done. Or he's just a weak ass demon. I don't know. Well, he said one of them was going to die and he tried to crash the whole goddamn car. You, ooh, oh, you, you, sure. yeah. shame, shame, we know your name. Now, in my research for this, I came across uh, a video, and I was watching, and they mentioned uh, another video by from a another YouTuber named Kyle Godfrey, who actually tried to contact Zozo via a Ouija board. Uh, once they did start, apparently, interacting, uh, they asked if Zozo had a phone number. I think that's a great question. Why hasn't somebody done that before? You got a phone number? What's your phone number? And the board came back with 417-666-6666. So it's great fucking information to know that Zozo resides in Missouri. And also, go fuck yourself. Now, in this video... That is so unoriginal. Which I watched, and I meant... The links in my notes. I will put the. I don't. I don't think I put the link in the description. I will add it into the description. Uh, I did watch this video. Now he dialed the number, and as it, it was a, naturally, it, something picked up, made some yeah. weird noises. The lights went out. Doom, doom, doom. A door closed on its own. He went walking through the house, and the door closed. The YouTuber. And, yes, he went. If I remember right. The lights went out. He wa- freaking out. Great acting job. It w- said, okay, maybe I need to close out the Ouija board and hang up the phone. And he was walking back to his room, and the door closed on its own. <gasps> or I bet he was in the room and just shut it. I don't know. <gasps> but I'll put that it's, back. It's just the number. That, the fact that the number is 666-6666. Oh I'm about half tempted to dial it right so now. It's so unoriginal. Dial it right now myself. 
No, because Arla could be an actual person. They'd be like, I swear to God, if one more <laughs> motherfucker calls me. But, you know, this was obviously fake. It's obviously bullshit. Yeah. It, but it's kind of comical. I will say that. I mean, well done. I just I just got kicked out of, apparently, Missouri is the home of Zuzu. You think when it showed, like, when Zuzu. he hit that last digit of the phone number, he, like, looked at the camera, and it was, like, the Zoinks moment from fucking Scooby-Doo, like, Bruh! Yeah, maybe. I don't know. So, that is the Demon Zozo in a nutshell. Now, I, like I was stated earlier, I don't give a rat's ass about the fucking... The I'm Ouija a, board? Ouija board. I'm sure people have had fucking problems. I'm sure maybe somebody has even been possessed. And they might have been using a Ouija board. But it's not the Ouija board. It's their their The intention. schizophrenia. It's their intention of opening up a door or... That's it. Not the Ouija board. Because like I said, I've broken in my paranormal career, I've broken every rule in the fucking book. Mm-hmm. They say don't do it. I've done it. Because it doesn't work. And I've never been possessed. We've established this. Bullshit. This thing? This is bullshit. Bullshit. This is a work of art. A work this of... This is uh, bullshit. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, anyway, so that's it. That's all I got. I don't give a fuck. Anything you want to add to the story? I think it's fucking horseshit. Now, I'm sure Mr. Evans had some experiences... Yeah, he's probably eating fucking mushrooms. Well, maybe I don't know, but I'm. It was. I yeah, way more interesting story. I mean, I do think a part of the story that is interesting is the blackbird in the jar thing. That's definitely an occult shit. And I bet you, if he said he was on mushrooms for all this, Joe <laughs> Rogan would have him on his have him on his podcast and be like, "That's it, folks. That's now, the new reality of it." I will. <laughs> I will say this. Obviously, with the blackbirds in the jar on the four corners, there was some kind of ritual done with that Ouija board. Now, did that? Yeah, I don't think that was happenstance. I don't feel like, where do you want me to put these crows? Did that put some sort of attachment onto that Ouija board? I mean, that's very possible. I mean, they attached dead crows to it, but. I mean. I'm not, I I don't, I don't think that that, not to me at least, that doesn't like make it more plausible, the scenario of the demon and shit. It just. It all goes to intent. To somebody who was looking for it i was mm-hmm. yeah if i was if if it was us i'd be like that's gross what a waste of a good jar and then we'd throw them away and then we'd probably throw the fucking ouija board away too but to somebody who's like oh man i wonder if i could talk to fucking the god himself bond scott through this here talking board i say we i i gotta find a plain sh- plain shit i don't know where it is it's probably in that box right there probably maybe we ought to fire up the old ouija board and see if we can talk to Elvis or something. No, there's way more people. Interesting people. Epstein. Ask, ah, him, if, Epstein. ask him if he killed himself. That's, it. That's literally it. No. Like, he, did you kill suppl- yourself? No. He supplied little girls. No. Yeah, like, no. And then it's like, thank you for contacting me. We now close this. Nothing is allowed to da-da-da. And we, that's the like only time we close a Ouija board correctly. Like, no, nah, fuck you. I just wanted to know. Now we got a fucking something to talk about. Or who else? Who would be really interesting? John Lennon. No. Oh, can you imagine how long it'd take? Did you hear how fucking long it took I him wanna, to speak? I, he, I do have a um, question I'd want to ask him. In what world did you find Yoko Ono fucking attractive? How much drugs did you Not do even attractive, just in, in the what, 60s. In what world did you think it was a good idea to fund her musical career? I mean, I'd fuck her musical career. Who would literally look at that and get hard? John Lennon. Oh, Lord. She's beautiful. I mean, and I've tapped some ugly shit in my day, but Jesus Christ, John, I don't know. I know if I had rock star money, I wouldn't be tapping that. I'm legitimately thinking about who I would talk to. I just, okay, me too. Well, let's get serious. Oh, I'm listening. I'm just like, um, I can't stop, like, I can't pinpoint one person. Hmm, that's a good question. Because honestly, I think it would just be, it'd be, for me, it would be just as likely to be somebody who's not a celebrity. It would be like, I just want to talk to somebody like from like a hundred thousand years ago and see what was going on hmm. right that's a tough one huh i you know i'm trying to think of like a lot of people i feel like would say a loved one but i'm like i feel like that's there's too much power in that one opportunity to talk to the right person from the right time 
I'm trying to think of a murder a murder victim. John Benet Ramsey. Th- something like that. To know who mm. who actually did it. John Benet Ramsey. You know, actually Kaylee Anthony. W- yeah. Or one of the Jack the Ripper victims. Huh? I think we ought to do Jack the Ripper at one point. That's a Oh yeah. That's a fascinating case. Uh he's been on my radar before. Um Hmm. I don't know. That's, that's a, a good question. one. I mean, I'd like to say Kennedy, but still wouldn't tell us who shot. Even he though, wouldn't know. Even though no, I don't have know. Seen, have you seen the video? I mean, there is that of him getting shot in the head. <laughs> yeah, have you, I have. Have you seen it? Really? Yeah. Huh? I thought I was the only one in the world that saw that. No, there are some people that believe the conspiracy that the death or the fatal bullet came from the Secret Service agent in the car. That was the one that went through, you know. I'd have to rewatch it. I that is one of, or maybe it was as a, morbid I, as that is, or it was the one that was in the back. I, one of the Secret Service agents actually is the one who shot the kill shot. That was on the car. I'm pretty sure it came from the back of his head. And I, so th- I remember correctly, his face explodes to an extent. <clears throat> I, I it's been so long since I really looked into it, but you know, so talking. To I him, literally just watched. Talking the to Kennedy him. assassination, like like literally two days ago. Talking to him wouldn't do any good because he doesn't know. Um, hmm. Actually, talking to Lee Harvey Oswald, I think you'd get an honest answer out of a, the spirit version. Hmm. Were you really a patsy? Um, that's a good question, though. Um Julius Caesar, Caesar, right? Like, the, like I, I feel like I would have to take the opportunity to talk to like, like I don't know, like fucking Genghis Khan. He's too busy fucking. And then there's also the thought that we like, you know, go back and talk to like one of my ancestors and be like, invest in this under this name and this social security number. Hmm. I don't. I don't think that would work, but you know. I don't know. Ba- bury this kind of money in this place. That wouldn't work either. Somebody would be fucking dug up. Yeah, I don't know, but I do it's think that this story is mostly bullshit. I'm sure something happened. I'm sure it's like any other story. I'd right. love to have him on to talk about it if you it's want been to. Embellished over time. Oh, everything is all I the mean, time. I... It's like fishing stories, or. Dick size stories. Yes, I mean, but I don't. I'm sure he had some sort of experience, and he might be associating it with the Ouija board, but I don't think it's the Ouija board. It might. Yeah, that doesn't. I guess yeah. it would be more him, and his fascination with the occult. That's why the hot take. That's why the activity ten escalated because the more he di- delved into it, the more. It opened the gap. Does that make sense? A hundred percent. No, it all could be bullshit. It makes way more bad. sense than Zozo being a thing. Yeah, Zozo, fuck Zozo. Zozo can suck my left testicle. He can, z- he can slow me. I am not afraid of, for one, Pazuzu if, is Zozo. Just make it Zuzu, you fucking fucktard. Oh, yeah, did we talk about Pazuzu Algar? Oh, yeah, Al? go ahead and talk about that. The fucking... Which we did an episode on him. Possible... Maybe serial killer, if you ask the or right person. He's just an asshole. That liked to shoot. I mean, he did kill like one person for sure, I believe. Well, well, that's why he killed about three, but yeah. But yeah, they found, because they found remains on his property. His house was literally just covered in like feces and not even like dog shit, like no. literal human shit. Right. Except not- his grandma's room or his mom, whatever it was. She. Yeah. Said, what was it the one guy said he had like just a stockpile of weapons in the dishwasher or some shit like that? Well, that's where I'd keep him. Just the just a he's just a dirty skater kid that, that did was, too many drugs. It be, it looked and like had a, an issue. Oh, a hundred percent was mentally unstable. He filed his teeth, didn't he? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. We can do an episode on. Oh, we can do a Patreon episode on him. I have to look. Should be see. a quick I know, one. I know we did an episode. Was it? 
I can't remember what, what, what was it, on him or. It might have been the last time we talked about the Ouija board. No, or I, think, I think we actually did a whole episode on him. Did we? I think so. Hmm. We'll have to look back. I'll if look we didn't, back. might have to do it on Patreon. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll go back and revisit it at some point. A redux. All right, that's all I got. I'm done. Fuck this place. Fuck Zozo. You're full Zozo of shit. Can... Fuck. This, this... They don't work. It, I mean, if you need like a mouse pad or something to roll. I mean, it looks cool. Something to like roll your joints on. The m- mystifying oracle of said Ouija. It would. What kills it for me is the moon and the sun on this one. They have uh, a smiley face and a frowny face. They're just, a, I don't even call it a frowny face. I just call it like resting bitch face. That would be me. They're just not very intimidating. I don't know if you can see that. But they're not very intimidating moon and sun faces. They do not make me tremble in terror. Neither do these fucking people playing with the Ouija boards at the bottom. I just noticed that. And why is the sun dark and the moon is light? I don't know. Get your shit together, Mattel or whoever the fuck made this thing. Look, it literally has a fucking hanger on the back. I it's put, literally it's a fucking wall decor. I put that on. You gotta ruin everything. I put that on to hang it. That there you go, Phil. Put it on there. That's official. It's official. It's real. Ouija boards real. <laughs> I to hang it up. Ouija boards are not wall decors. All right, I think that's it. You got anything else you want to add before we uh, call it a day? No, I don't think so. All right, Let's fuck get- it. Get the fuck out of here, kids. Thanks I'm for- hungry. How about that? I'll add that in there. Thanks for coming. We appreciate everybody in the chat. Everybody First that- time Phil said that. <laughs> everybody that was uh, is listening on your favorite podcast app, thank you for listening. Uh, head on over to YouTube.com, and you can join us live and get involved in the chat. And we will see you all next week. Take care, everybody. We're out. Bye.